and they always go, no, I didn't hear the same thing. I yeah, see, you that's got noise. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. listening to noise. So. You might want to repeat what you just said, because you had to redo tape. <laughs> oh. Um, About the five. Like I said, when we, when we do, when we record what we think is an EVP, um, to, to be more objective about the analysis, I will take and send it to five random people on my email list. Yeah. And I will just say, what do you hear? And if I get five responses back that are similar or the same, then I know I've You're got something. You're on target. You're on I'm target. On target. Yep. Yep. Um, if I get five different responses back, I throw it out and say, yeah. well, it was an interesting noise. You know? yeah. That's what yeah. it was. Uh, but so many people try, try to make something out of nothing or they'll listen to noise over and over again until they're firmly convinced that they hear, you know, Getty, yeah. the Gettysburg Address or right, something right, like that. Right. And then they come back three days later and they listen to it and there's nothing on there that they heard. Yeah. Because they're listening to noise and their mind is making sense out of it. Okay, now uh, uh, we'll be returning here in the future, I would imagine, if I can set it up somehow. And uh, what other buildings would you like to move to? Well, we would... Interestingly, the library would be high on the hit list. Absolutely. Now, is the library the built crime. on top of her, the place where she was? I'm not sure. It it's was back very there, close. Like First Avenue, which is right there. Okay. I'm thinking I that think right I can about, pinpoint it, but it has I think to be daytime. Too. I think daytime. we would have to come okay. here in the daytime. I think I to could, try to because I visualized. I think I can. Good. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's something we should do. We should explore that first. And then maybe come back after hours hmm. to the library area and work that area and yeah. see if we get any residual stuff from mm -hmm. that. Okay. Yeah, it'd um, be nice to see the same wavefront wave. You know, I would like to also things. explore other areas where reported activity has been. Yes, I know yes, it's a lot fall. So those are areas that are also there's you know there's been suicides on campus as well hmm. that may be a contributory be factor of some yeah. of this stuff. Yeah. So let's look at every place that has reported activity. Right, right. But then before it's all over with, I want to do this like serious. Carefully and in depth. Haul yeah. in the truckload of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Set this area up here. Because right you're getting off. high readings. Yes. Uh, this is yeah, phenomenal. This area uh, here, so. What I was getting tonight is way larger than normally we get in yeah, situation. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. this was a very active location as far as that goes and I would love to map that. I would love to map this whole area uh, and then find the event horizon opening and throw everything we have at that area to document. Hmm. Um, this may be where we get the final proof of wormholes. Okay. How cool would that be? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> it would, it would, uh, so it let's uh, do a lot for, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, the whole thing from Einstein and the whole theory of relativity, right. you know, it's, that's a theoretical construct that Ian Rosen came up with, but if we could prove it, it's huge. So we'll see what we can do in the future, and uh, I think we'll wrap up the show in a sense of thanking you for being here. And thank you for, thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I thank enjoyed you. it. We all enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure people watching it would enjoy it to a certain extent and have right. a greater understanding one way or the other. I'd like to thank uh, our viewers for watching the program and uh, make sure you watch for our program in the future, Science on the Edge. And this segment over here, we hope will be a series in the area of searching for Tilly the Ghost on the campus of Centenary College. I'm Colin Rico, and this has been a Centenary TV production. Until next time. <laughs>